Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, I got some business to take care of first with uh, Goat Boy, as he sent me an email this morning, um, trying to make a request of me uh, to uh, remove a video or two of mine uh, freely off of my channel. And, well, I'm not going to respond back to him at this point since he's... Uh, Give me the links to the two offending videos. I'm just going to do it this way and say no. Because if you really wanted them gone, then you could have tried a, uh, a copyright strike on me and gotten rid of them that way temporarily. But seeing as how sometimes YouTube does tend to shoot those ideas down for you, when you try that, you might have already tried and failed to do so. So you're trying to be uh cordial in this case well dude i'm not gonna remove them now that that business is out of the way let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video in today's video we find ourselves in cobb county georgia rusty boy georgia transparency ends up getting criminally trespassed from the local post office oh poor little guy he overstepped his bounds and uh well forgot where he was at you know georgie boy uh that poster 7 will get you every time if you're not careful. And then don't forget to uh, stay for a uh, bonus video at the end. Uh, a classic arrest from a frauditor that we haven't seen for a long time. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Georgia Transparency went hot at a post office located in Kennesaw, Georgia. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe to include smashing that notification bell right quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, no, I'm not going to smash that like button. No, I, I don't think so, Tim. Hey, how you doing? Oh, good, how are you? What you doing? I was taking some pictures and video right quick, that's all. Oh no no no! Of course you can. I'm just working on a story with the. Okay, you might yeah. Oh no no no! We're allowed to in here. Rusty, I know you're not that damn incompetent. I know you have the ability to read. I know you made it through basic training and actually had a career in the military. So therefore, I know you have some amount of reading comprehension skills. Don't tell me you've never read over Poster 7 and have it spotted this little gem right here that, well, doesn't exactly give you permission to, to film inside the post office whatsoever, especially since it's not exactly a government entity like you frauditors tend to think it is. Where's your paperwork? What paperwork? So you have to get um, paperwork from the postmaster stating that you can be in here with them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got Where that. Um, it's the U.S. Go ahead and get that for me. Oh, it's on your wall out here. No, it's not on that wall out here, honey. Well now, Rusty Boy, it seems like that you've just encountered somebody who has actually read the poster. Unlike a lot of the other uh, unfortunate people that frauditors tend to run into, this one has actually educated themselves on that poster. Bravo! Bravo. The uh You gonna have to step out of here with them. Okay? The the uh the rules and regulations uh -uh. and then also we the people. Go ahead and show it to me. We the people? Oh yes we can. Go ahead and show it to me. Oh, is there a supervisor available? Go ahead. I can use Oh no, of of course we can, ma'am. We're allowed. Oh no no, we're allowed to. Though. I'm sorry. Oh, so I'm sorry. Ma'am, is everything okay? Say that again. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Is everything okay with you? Oh, yeah. I was making sure I can finish doing what I was doing and then leave. What are you doing? Just you taking some video and pictures, you, that's you, all. You doing what? Just taking some video and pictures, that's all. Video pictures of whom? Just of the inside the post office, that's it. Yeah, I was just making sure it was okay. So I think the other lady had said, like, no or something. 
oh, that's another lie right off the bat right there, uh, Rusty Boy, considering that you were not asking for permission earlier. You were telling the uh, postal worker that you were going to do this, that they pretty much had no choice. Yeah, uh, you might want to recheck your video and, uh, well, make sure that you're not lying over and over again, which I know is impossible because you frauders tend to lie with every breath that you take. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, who is that? Don't let me out. Oh, don't let, don't let me out. Ooh. The Cobb County Police, I mean, I'm going to walk out on a limb here and speak for you. You'll probably agree with me. Y'all don't violate the rights of the people. Okay. No, I mean, y'all don't. I don't think y'all do. Okay. Man. Well, what's, well, what's going on? I have no idea. I didn't call you. I was, I was actually on they my way out. They filming in the, the, a part of their business again. Oh, most definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. let me talk to them back here, okay? Yeah, most definitely. Talk to them. It was perfectly legal. Yeah, whatever, dude. But you're about to find out that uh, you just bit off more than you can chew in this place, Rusty Boy. So, yeah, enjoy that criminal trespass you're about to get. And enjoy every moment of that stupidity that brought you here. I mean, I most definitely, I most, I'll, I'll definitely most identify and give you whatever I need. If, okay, cool. If uh, um, just, well, I mean, as long as you're suspecting me of a crime or anything. If well, this is, I know what you're. I understand what you're trying to do. Well, I guess what happened? What happened that caused this? I have no idea. I'm merely peacefully existing in a public space with a camera owned by the government, okay. checking up on our government and everything. So I have no idea. I didn't well, cause any problems. Being the type of facility it is, because there is. Um, what do you call, uh, kind of... Uh, do y'all have a supervisor by chance? Hey, sure, tell us about it. Yeah, we can get a super... If, if, if I'm going to be made to leave under threat of arrest or trespass or anything, then okay. yeah. Okay. Other than That's that, cool. I would prefer if y'all go back to work and I'm going to finish... Whatever. This I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing, and then I'm going to leave. I mean, okay. I was actually on the way out, then I saw y'all pull up, so I'm like, well, 1201. I didn't even know y'all called. They, I didn't even know they called. They didn't even say they were calling the police. Yeah, that's what all frauditors say. I was just already on my way out. Uh, there's no need for you guys to be around. Yeah, go back and do your jobs. Uh, well, dude, this is their job. Their job is to deal with people like you who think that they uh, can, uh, well, be a boil on the ass of society or anything i mean nobody really i mean we're kind of in a yes sir can you 59 with us we're next to the hobby town over there off of uh bear parkway so, I mean, we're this kind of like in a pickle hallway. right now oh uh, yeah most definitely so yeah i mean i just want to be left about something or? i didn't do anything well they I, felt like you was yeah. For for existing in a public space with a camera, so do y'all enforce feelings or do y'all enforce law? No, this is what I'm trying to. This is what I'm saying is there sense of information that people have on their mail. Oh, then by all means, they need to put that well, in private. Well, this is this, everything. Is, this would be considered right. that. So yeah, uh, Rusty Boy, what is that motto that you frauditors like to use? Yeah, there is no expectation of privacy in public. Well, uh, that's about to be enforced in this particular scenario, dude. And you're the one who's about to end up needing the feelings police here in just the next few minutes. But I'm gonna have a supervisor explain that to you because that you know. Oh, cause so you, do you I have to leave or uh, like? Well, I'm gonna, to him, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let him uh, or, give some insight okay. and make sure that and, you know we're we're oh. like you said we want we want to make sure we're doing oh. things lawfully. Yeah. So we're going to make sure we're doing oh. things lawfully. Am I detained or anything? Huh? Am I detained? You're really? Really? Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Really? I'm not even stopping your movement. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. And what I told him earlier, I mean, I don't I don't think the Cobb County Police Department, y'all are Cobb County PD. Yes, yes. Police Department. I do, I'm, I don't, the yeah, I don't think y'all violate the rights of the people. I don't think y'all do that. I'm not, I, 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 I don't way. think y'all do yeah. that at all. So y'all yeah. well, so got, got more important business to take care of, more important stuff to handle instead of, you know, coming up here, yeah. messing with a journalist, working on a story, uh, you know, about the federal government. So it's, you know, it, you well, know I mean, because our feelings, you know, now if I'm like, know, like if I'm a. <laughs> Like if I'm inside of here, like I can't go in there. Yeah, I know that. Like if I go in there, then by all means, yeah. There's now, there's now, now we're talking about you know a, a totally different course of action. That thing but, and, and of course anybody's private information. 
but you can film it from public. Anything you can see in public, yeah. you can film. Yeah. So what if you that see somebody's sense. private? But what if you see somebody's private information in public? Yeah. So well, and that's really like, we'll get insight from my supervisor yeah. when he gets here, and yeah. it will go from there. Yeah, How because you can't. And again, I'm 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 off Northrop. Yeah, what do you want to call you? Russ. Russ. Russell. Yeah, Russ, Russ, Russell. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Yeah, my channel is pretty big, Georgia Transparency. Oh, so Georgia so Transparency? yeah, it's, it's, okay, a, it's cool. a very big channel, and. Uh, you know, I just had this issue up up the road a little while ago at the uh, Woodstock post office. Oh, you went up there today? Oh, yeah. I just I left there and I came over here. Did they kick you out of there or something? Oh, no, no, no. The police were very, the police were amazing. They're like, there's nothing we can do. He's in public. There ain't, there, we can't do anything about it. The postmaster, he just, he, I mean, the actual postmaster was there today. He, he lost his grits. I don't know. He lost it. I'll bet he did because... The postmaster is the one running that building, and uh, that means they have say over what goes on in that building, and they can trespass you. But if the cops didn't want to do anything about it, well, that's a dereliction of duty on their part. In fact, I'm sure that uh, that postmaster can file a complaint with those officers because, well, they didn't do their jobs properly. I mean, you frauditors file complaints all the damn time on the most minor of occurrences, so why not that postmaster? What's good for the goose is good for the gander, as the old maxim goes. Now, let's just go ahead and skip to the part where the supervisor shows up, and, uh, well, this ends fairly quickly after that. Many, many minutes later. Exercising constitutional protected activities not bothering anybody and merely existing in public with a camera. Uh, there's not a problem with that. Wherever your yeah. eyes are, can legally be, yeah, so can most definitely. So, yeah, most definitely. I have no issue with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So this is your goal for the, the day was to film this lobby my goal is my my goal is to achieve my goal is ever changing okay. my goal is ever changing today's goal? <clears throat> i invest like when told these gentlemen here i investigate and i look into government government okay. corruption police brutality this will everything a post office lobby with some post office boxes and there's nobody in here but us and you yeah. so yeah uh the officer is just as confused as anybody would be. I mean, what kind of government corruption or police brutality are you going to find in a post office? I mean, if you really want to look for government corruption, you go to the damn source. You go to, uh, like, government buildings such as the White House or the state capitol buildings or anything like that. Not a post office just sitting around in Cobb County, Georgia. I mean, you're barking up the wrong tree, man. <laughs> but my narrative, see, that's, and then that's, that's a great thing. It's called a viewpoint. Okay. My viewpoint can differ from your viewpoint. And that doesn't mean we can't be friends. We can't be likable. You know, we can't like each other. You know, most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera. Doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do, Lieutenant. Is a, um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead. Uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, oh. I've got too many entities. I know, oh. and that's where we're at. Um, what I like to do first is, what is your? Uh, you were a marine too. Yeah. Oh. What, what is your What is your last name, sir? I'm, if I'm being CT'd out of here, I'm going to take my stuff. I know the CT laws. I'm going to exit, and I will not return. Okay. Is is that okay, sir? Y'all have a great day. Let's right, do that. Were you ever and, uh, for us? No, no, sir. I was an army. I'm a disabled combat veteran, yeah. and I'm being removed from. The, the army. Uh, I was a 13 Delta. Okay. That was my MOS deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah. I'm being criminally trespassed from a public space without commission of any crime. What name would you like me to put on the report? It doesn't matter. To you me. can put Georgia Transparency. Georgia Transparency. Yes, sir. Okay. And I am so pissed off. I am, I am so upset right now. I was just talking you guys up. 
Oh, Rusty boy, you're feeling pissed off? Well, do you want these uh, cops to enforce your feelings and uh, make it where you're not trespassed anymore? Well, tough luck, boy. It's not going to happen. They are not the feelings enforcers. So take those uh, butt-hurt feelings of yours and take that walk of shame, huh? Well, Rusty boy, you crossed that line and you ended up paying the price. Now, let's go ahead and watch another frauditor who ended up paying the price after he crossed that line. So, let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? This video is not about a frauditor or a sovereign citizen. It is about this douchebag who goes by the... Moniker Jacob Yerkes, this absolute waste of human breath, has decided to stalk and threaten a woman who had absolutely no interest in him whatsoever. How sad. Yes, sir. Uh, I just made a call and. Come on here, let's talk. I know what's going on. Okay, so I was going to go to Cracker Barrel. There's a girl there. What's with the camera? I just want to record the inc incident so I have it on file and can track everything. But anyways, uh, I went to Cracker Barrel, and I was going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got there, and she saw me, and she immediately pulled away. And uh, I, I wasn't forcing her li to listen or anything. You know, mm -hmm. I just wanted to play the song for her, you know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me. You know? Okay. Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit, but it never really got serious. Okay. I take it not many women even talk to you. All right, douchebag, there's a valuable lesson in here. Just because a member of the opposite sex talks to you doesn't mean they're interested in you. But anyways... I pulled up there, and I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I was, I was like, oh, shoot. So my moment, so I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I don't know, women are crazy. Like, I felt like she, like, wanted me to chase her. I don't know, but from the way it sounds, she didn't want to have anything to do with you. That should be your first clue. Chasing somebody's crazy? Well, it's just like I, I only went like a couple blocks down the street. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they when they obviously don't want to? Well, I had my oh. song playing and I wanted to like her to hear it maybe. Well, apparently she didn't want to hear it, right? So what else happened? Let's get on with the story. Um. Well, anyways, her her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so I just want to have his name what, on file. What, what did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's gonna stab me, like, but he, he's like cussing did at me. He said that, or he did say that. He said he says I'm gonna do something to you. I swear I do something to you. For chasing your daughter? Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like women like that. A no, little bit of excitement. No, women well, don't like to be chased. What about like? If I was a porn. father, I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about like BDSM porn, where women like to be have rape fantasies? Well, apparently this girl doesn't. Well, who knows? Most women do like having rape fantasies. That should have been your next clue, genius. The very fact that she went to her father, which her father is going to be protecting her like any parent would, and the very fact that he did his job of protecting his family by threatening you, should have been another clue. Boy, you're not the sharpest knife in the drawer, are you? Okay, do you think she does? I don't know. but Apparently she don't. Well, so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file, just in case he does do anything do you, do to you me. Know and building upon how sharp you are, you went to the police to report the threat after you had stalked his daughter. That's not too sharp. 
I know his daughter's name. What do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. Well, this is one song I made, and this was the final chance I was going to have. Here's my chance. Here, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. Because fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing. is She needs to have her own free will, man. You listen, do not understand? Listen, I'm a listen, man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I need listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's it is the job of every father to protect and guide their children. Now, I've never been a father yet, but I will certainly follow the example of my own father, who was a single parent after my mother died when I was 12 and my sister was 10 years old. Even after my sister reached adulthood and was able to make her own choices, and she decided to get together with a much older man, my father did try to prevent it and protect her. He begrudgingly accepted them getting together, but a few years later, her boyfriend died of a heart attack and left her as a single mother. That's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will? I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. You need to leave. You want her to do porn? Why would you want to do that? And besides, that would be her choice, not yours. Thankfully, you got arrested, and that'll be a report I show at the end of the video, but People, watch out for this guy. Well, we're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm, I'm having discussion on. I'm having discussion. Telling you to leave. Are you threatening me with I'm arrest? I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you to leave. This we're is done. a public property. We're done. Well, you can stay if you want. If you, if you, if you, if you do that on public property, I'll, you know, I'll leave you're, under. You're free. You're free to do whatever you want to right here, but we're not doing anything else. I'm just giving you advice. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Leave her alone. You're not going to well, get. What's, what's her name? I will go speak with her, and then uh, we will go by H-O-L. Yes, like Sherlock Holmes. And what's your name? Jacob. Jacob Yerkes, Y-E-R-K-E-S. Y-E-R-K-E-S. Jacob. Jacob Yerkes, Y-E-R-K-E-S. Jacob, Y-E-R-K-E-S. Here's the thing. My advice, my advice to you is leave her alone because your father, the father's not happy, and things can happen. Unfortunately. I think she's been controlled all her life, though. Well, she may be, but that's her choice. Free will, right? What you said, free will? Yeah, kind of, I guess. I mean... I mean, does she not have free will to, to be controlled by her father if she wishes? Yeah, but it's, there's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. I, I was going to let her make her own choice after the song. Well, it sure as hell doesn't sound like you're going to give her a choice at all. That's the way it sounds to me. He's dead. I hope you see this fucking video. You know what happens when women don't ever, you know, come to terms with themselves? The bad shit happens. And that implied threat is the proverbial final nail in the coffin when it comes to this dude and his attitude. I don't know. Something um, the cops want to deny me trying to get her to be straight. Something is wrong about that. I don't see why these traditional ass motherfuckers think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke belligerent LGBT shit that has her right now. And her father is controlling the bullshit. From what other creators have said, it may be that she is a lesbian. In which case, that's none of your damn concern, dude. And just another reason why she rejected any of your advances. And if she were straight, she would still reject you. Based on the fact of how creepy your advances were to begin with. I just don't see it. I'm older than your fucking father. Wait a second, wait a second. How are you older than her father? I mean, you look like you're in your late 20s, early 30s. So, uh, is, how old is the daughter? Is she, like, 10? I mean, it, this is the only way I can see her 
father being younger than you. If that were the case, you seriously need to be put away. That's how I feel right now. I've lived this life. I've been the greatest. I've been down and I've been about. I don't know where this is going, but um... Fucking snakes, man. She was gonna lure me in a trap whenever I was gonna go, you know, play a song for her. It's just how it is. But uh, shout out to all my bros. I know that my dudes. You know, I'm, I'm like I'm really getting depressed recently, you guys. I feel like uh, yeah, it's not faith in me. Wow, that's just plain disturbing right there. All these justifications, all this rhetoric, it's all utter garbage. Plain old sick garbage. And I'm glad they caught him. So let's watch the news report on this, this weirdo. With a Loudoun County man who made national news after his videos on social media went viral. Jacob Yerkes was arrested on stalking and harassment charges after a joint investigation by the Sheriff's Office and the Lenore City Police Department. The post made by Yerkes online garnered national attention and nearly 6 million views on Twitter. Public interest led to the Federal Bureau of Investigation's Joint Terrorism Task Force actually got involved in the case. 16 Your Sides' Paige Weeks joins us now in the studio with the threats that were made and why the concern continued to grow. Paige. Well, guys, according to police, the victim of this case has dealt with Yerkes' unwanted advances since mid-June. Since then, records show Yerkes continued to contact the victim any way he could, be it through social media, texts, and most recently by showing up at her work and following her in his car. Records show Lenore City Police first encountered Jacob Yerkes when he appeared at the Lenore City Municipal Office claiming to have been threatened by a woman's father after trying to impress her at work. He went on to say that he uh, was just trying to let her listen to a song that he had written for her and that he did follow her. That's when everything turned. He made several comments that were very odd to the, to the sergeant and the patrol officer that was speaking with him and said uh, some things like, uh, women like to be or fantasize about being uh, stalked. Videos, including some found on social media, uploaded by Yerkes himself, show him saying women enjoy being chased and have fantasies of being raped. Those videos have also sparked increased concern, so much so several agencies, including the FBI, are now involved. We would be able to elevate the charge from just a stalking and harassment charge to harassment and uh, an aggravated uh, stalking. With the charges set, law enforcement set out to find Yerkes. They did so at a local hotel. Once in custody, police say the alarming rhetoric didn't stop. He did say uh, some more bizarre things that give us concern. As the case against Yerkes continues, members of law enforcement are also working to get his social media videos taken down. Chief White also says there may be more victims out there. If that is you, you are urged to contact the Lenore City Police Department. Don and Bo. All right, Paige, thank you very much. We're going to continue following this story as it develops, as it moves along. And if you or someone you know has faced or is facing a similar situation, you are encouraged by law enforcement to reach out and ask for help and contact law enforcement immediately. Now, we also caught up with Greg Isaacs, our six on your side legal analyst, about this case and how stalking and harassment is prosecuted here in Tennessee. So basically, you know, two things. Uh, the conduct has to be repeated, uh, and you have to uh, intentionally threaten and harass uh, or communicate with the intent uh, to frighten somebody. Again, tonight, that investigation is still ongoing, and the Sheriff's Department says more charges are possible against Yerkes. We'll keep you posted. A while back, I was talking to my dad, and I said, everybody in life sets an example for something that you should or should not do in your life. And at that time, I was making a reference toward an individual I know who is a prime example of what not to be. And in this very case right here, this guy is an example of what not 
to be. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?